Video cast number 92, Leave No Trace. The Boy Scouts have been actively advocating Leave No Trace and outdoor ethics principles since early in the 70s at such places like Philmont, and in the early 90s has moved from a mostly high adventure focus to a more local unit focus. More recently, a new outdoor ethics troop position was established. In fact, a number of adults that take the program become somewhat zealots, which can really turn the uninitiated off a bit, but that's a different video altogether. When I took the training a few years ago, it was called Leave No Trace Training. The Leave No Trace program is broken into seven key points, many of which roll up in some way to the first point, to plan ahead and prepare. The gist to plan ahead and prepare is to understand the situation you're going into, whether it can be a hike or a camping trip, plan to be kind to the land by preparing for the environment you're entering. Before you go, check the weather, bring items that make sense for where you're going, or just plain be prepared. The second point of Leave No Trace is, is travel and camp on durable surfaces. There are ways you should travel through different environments to do the least damage. Even in scout camps where you see heavy usage in des designated areas, you come across direct paths to places like bathrooms where folks use shortcuts instead of designated paths. After a while, it forms a dirt path with no grass, and shortly after that, the area is so worn that when it rains, you have big puddles that take forever to dry and cause problems. So stay on the path. Dispose of waste properly is the third point, and it goes in line with the scouting concept of leaving it better than when you found it. If you're camping and there are designated bathrooms, use them. If the camping location calls for you to carry out your waste, plan ahead and do so. One of the more interesting points from this part was when peeing in the woods to not go on trees and there is salt in the urine and the animals will lick it off the trees, stripping the bark and hurting the tree. So pee on rocks themselves. There are a few advocates for rocks. The next principle, leave what you find, really talks about collective use. Scouts go to lots of the same places and if every scout picked up and put something interesting in their pockets, after a while there wouldn't be much stuff that's interesting out there, so take a photo instead. This is a hard one, as the first thing a scout says, if I don't take it, then the next person in line will. Well, this might be true, but hopefully there's a thoughtful scout and a leader who sees it the right way and don't do this. Minimize campfire impacts, our fifth point, is really pointed at the community use as well. If there is an existing fire ring, use it. If there's not, generally it's better to not make a fire. The Leave No Trace guide goes into lots of ways you can have your cake and eat it too. With a little work on preparing the surface, you can have a fire if there's no fire ring. This also makes for a good troop, den, or patrol activity that you can do. Along the same lines, they talk about the resources you use. The whole thrifty thing. Don't use six logs to build a barn burner fire when three logs on a standard fire will do. While wood is a renewable resource, it doesn't renew that quickly. We've all been to scout camps where wood is scarce. This is one of the reasons why. Respect wildlife, the sixth point, has two aspects. Don't mess with the animals and their habitat. You're just a visitor there, and don't feed them, because when you're gone, they'll expect to be fed and they'll starve. And the last point, be considerate of other visitors in the outdoors. It's all about the camping experience, and it affects everyone around you. They might not want to experience the outdoors the same way that you do. A quiet walk in the woods can be ruined by loud music or unruly folks out in the silence. At campsites, for every event, there's usually stated hours or quiet time, most often 10 or 11 p.m. Even when there are no stated requirements, 
voices carry in the woods, and keeping to a 10 or 11 quiet time is a good idea. This includes yapping in tents as well, as being considerate of others also includes those who just want to experience a dying, crackling fire as scouts snore away. But this is what works for us. Take what you like, leave the rest as we say in Woodbedge. Feedback is a gift. Leave yours below in the comments with all the hope we can learn together. I'm Scoutmaster Dave, and this was a bit on Leave No Trace. Thank you.